who I am. It is what it is. But I'm down oh, here for a lobby. kind of. Uh, I mean, I'm here for a barn burner. Daz, real quick. You know, we've only got to see a limited amount of Washington State. I'm not going to ask you to give the deep dive, but like off of the little bit of footage that we've seen out of them, what can you say about their approach to Rocket League? Uh, I'd say that these guys are definitely a team that's or oriented in terms of kind of like playing in the air. You're going to see them definitely like move up the field with a lot of air dribbles and maybe even set up some pass plays based off of that in particular. It all depends, though, on, on the shooting. So everyone has had an ability to become a, a top scorer for what we saw in, uh, earlier on last week. Uh, I keep an eye on James and I keep an eye on Ari, though. I feel like they're going to be the ones, if they have a good day, that will carry WSU over in through the rest <laughs> of the series. All right, no doubt. We'll have to keep our eyes on that one, just like we've been keeping our eyes on the timeline. I come through all the time, and to tell you guys to add us at RLE Sports, use the hashtag CRL20, and you did. We have a tweet coming out from the audience that we're going to go ahead and, I keep telling you, tell us up on screen, and it's about me again. It's from <laughs> Newbie TV. Is F. Dot going to change his hair length for every CRL broadcast? Hashtag CRL20 at RLE Sports. Thank you for that last bit. That's the important part. And I don't know if I could. There's more weeks than there are because I could probably cut it a little bit and then I could probably shave it. That's only two. We got a lot more than two broadcasts. I don't know if I could pull well, all that off. How long does your <laughs> See, hair grow a in a week? That's a question I've never had to answer. <laughs> oh, no. I can't. I can't stand here with stags. You know, <laughs> Get it. Dude. He's bald. <laughs> there's something left but not much i talked about it on the pre-show where we uh the eight mile defense where you just come out and you you say all the stuff about yourself so nobody can say it back <laughs> to you <laughs> stacks out here being little bunny rabbit so i, re I respected stacks for sure if you want to roast me or stacks or daz i guess you can add us at crl20 or excuse me, hashtag CRL20 and use the at, at RL Esports. But for now, I want to get at the game itself. Washington State University versus Missouri State. These guys are on the horn. Let's get to the last match. Well, Washington State is over, well, over everything up to tonight but probably would have a winning record if not for someone named Knack on the Kansas State Wildcats side. He ran wild over Wazoo last week here on the stream. And now they get to show up on the stream again. They get to yet again close out the stream, Dazarin. And I think I like their chances a little better here against Missouri State. I, d I agree. I do think that against Missouri State, it's... Uh, a more favorable matchup, obviously, because, again, going into the day, we knew that neither of these squads had a winning record. So now's the time to see, you know, which one is the best of the worst, so to speak. In terms of right now, at least, we're, again, only in week two. So there's still a lot of time to develop things here and get more familiar with all the teams playing here. But who knows? Maybe, like your hairline, there might be some surprises that we just don't haven't seen yet for this there's no surprises with this. What are you talking about? I just didn't Here's see it until you moved your head. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Pharaoh's shot goes wide, and we are off and running. First opportunity belongs to Missouri State. Ochio battling in the corner with Ari. This is going to be Shandy now bringing this out for Missouri State, a team that, again, has battled against everybody they face. Got to feel like they should have a much better record, and they start off strong with Ochio getting the opening goal. And this is really good, too, from Ochio. Ocean, I mean, the jump here, the dive to make the save, I don't think he, I think he just rushed it, so to speak, and just completely threw himself out of the play. And it, was, it was an easy goal there for Ochio and a seemingly open net from WSU. Off the demolition, Ocean going to be respawning ball side, and that's where the ball is leaving, and Oshio scores again. So this one, again, Ari, another misread on defense, and it's just another clean look for Oshio. This is a pretty bad start for WSU. They haven't really gotten things set on the defensive end. A lot of misreads coming out from them. 
How the mighty have fallen. This is the team that beat LSU. Ochio downfield again. Ocho's not going to catch up to it. And it's 3-0 in the first minute. That's a natural hat trick in 53 seconds. Okay. Ocean just too far forward. Clears all the way into his own end. No one home. And you thought WSU were showing offense, but again, they just show how open the defense is here. Three goals from one person, three for three. Shooting in the first minute. That is about as comfortable of a lead as you can get in competitive practice. You start breaking out the record book and start thumbing through the pages looking at uh, the way this game is going. Shandy blocked by James. They'll have a full tank of boost, but nobody else to help him downfield, so Ochi will take over right in midfield, and that's the best thing Ocean could have done. Take him out of the play. Now Paro just throws this across, buying time for Ochio to respawn. He has done so and goes right over top of the ball. Good win on that challenge by Ocean. Now James couldn't get up for this in time. Airy is waiting, but now he's got to turn and get to this in a hurry. One on one. Shandy throws to the backboard, and Ocean gets the clear. Nobody really could commit for Missouri State, else it might be 4-0. So now you're seeing WSU at least start to kind of find their footing here. Still a little hasty when it's coming to making some challenges. Another misread, and Shandy has an open net, and there's your fourth goal. Well, it's now it's Shandy's turn, so clock's ticking. You have 53 seconds to match or beat what Ochio did in the first minute of the game. Good luck. This is just a running riot right now from Missouri State. Hawk would kick off from James, but he did at least get the ball out to the side. He's going to be way back to challenge Paro here, or just let Paro go right by the ball. Perry. This dump and chase strategy for Washington State has not worked out against the Bears. Ocean going after Ochio, couldn't get him. Now Airy coming off the side, backboard play. Ocean couldn't get there, and James will scramble back. He has all day to play this ball. Now we're starting to see WSU get, get, get their footing back. I mean, honestly, the biggest thing for them was just to read the ball on defensive ends. Maybe, no, almost an opportunity, but defense is actually back in time for MSU. But Washington State struggling, to say the least here, to open up game one. James looking for a follow-up. The follow-up was there, almost a goal scored, but just off target. And it still will remain a 4-0 game in favor of MSU. Well, you like the pressure now coming out from Washington State, and you ask the question, hey, they scored four goals on us in the first minute. Why can't we do the same to them? And certainly, if you keep the pressure on, you like your chances, but you got to keep this ball in the zone. Airy does, trying to center for James. Spike down and right into him as he stays with the play. And James, after picking up the mid boost, waited for this one. And uh, he, the ball was played into James. A great reaction and a great shot. Washington State will pick up one, so no shutout in game one as they do find success on offense. It is Ocean way up the ladder for this ball, but it will bounce right back out for Ochio. Good job by Ocean getting there first. This goes back into the Washington State zone. Shandy to center, nobody there, but Paro is waiting on the weak side. Harry got the ball through him, deals with a little contact. Ball back into the Missouri State zone, if only for a moment. Washington State trying to win at least the second half of game one. And if nothing else, get some momentum going forward in the series. So they don't feel like just a punching bag as Shandy adds another here. His second goal and any comeback bid seems to have been eradicated right there. That's a really good kind of play though from Ochio. Just tried to play the challenge and force it midfield because he knew he had Shandy behind him. So Shandy has an open net to shoot at. A great way to kind of work that last defender out of the net and stop any hopes. Meanwhile, almost a kickoff goal being scored from Shandy. They are trying to run up that scoreboard here. Still a minute left in game one. Ocean double tap straight down and James will convert it into a goal. Well, this is what you like to see out of Washington State. Get these plays, get the confidence that, hey, you can pull this off at game speed. I mean, not like Missouri State was lax at all on defense there. It's just a well-designed play, it worked out. Down three goals, minute to go. Stranger things have happened. Tonight even. 
Shandy. Blocked by Ocean. Would be a tough angle for James, but he almost set something up. Airy will have all day to turn on this, but doesn't have all day in reality. Down to 45 seconds if they at least want to try to mount a comeback charge. Shandy. Oh, Paro ran interference for him downfield, but James did take out Ochio. Ocean needs Uri to come up. He does so, but Shandy is right there, and that will finally put a rest to things here. Down to 25 seconds, and the only drama left is to see what the final score will be here in game one. Looking at this, you know, at least towards the rest of the series, we'll see whether or not w WSU can get things going as this is just a product of a poor, poor start to the game. They try to get one more, but the ball will hit the ground and MSU are able to take game one. And you see Ochio getting the MVP. I mean, you kind of deserve it after you start the, the <laughs> right? game off scoring a hat trick in the first minute. Poor Paro. You see this post-game scoreboard? You got Sheesh. two guys approaching 700. Paro's there just like, I helped. I was there. You know what? If Ochio and Shandy are putting up those numbers, you can just sit at the back. Eat some donuts. It's fine. 5-2 goes to Missouri State. And now Washington State. They a lot to build on there out of the final couple minutes of that game. We'll see if they can put it together for a full five minutes. A lot to build on, sure. But again, this is this mainly has to do with making sure the basics are down in the first place. Being able to read the ball, crucial. And we're starting to see them come alive. Okay, that's different. What a start to the game, too. Yeah, Paro came up, didn't actually commit. Then he was like, okay, I'm going to come up. No, I'm going to go back. I'm going to come up. I'm going to go back. Oh, ball's in the net. Ocean took advantage of a little indecisiveness. And five seconds in, Washington State scores first. Can they do it for the full five minutes, or is it just a five-second burst? Paro with a rare shot, blocked well out in front. Now Eric looking to center, and Shandy's there to disrupt the play. Now Ocean looking for James. He'll have an angle, but that's saved by Ochio. Follow-up is blocked by Ochio as well. Pressure, Ocean in, Ooh. and look at them go. James finds Ocean, and Ocean picks up his second goal. Maybe he can get a hat trick going here, Stax. Yeah, what, what was it, 57 seconds, 53 seconds that uh, Ochio scored yep. a uh, hat trick? Ocean trying to match him. He's got a couple, 27 seconds in. All right, I like this little game of horse we got going on here. Shandy, right at Airy. So you have to imagine the last guy that Missouri State wants to see with the ball is that guy, Ocean. But, oh, James ran into Airy. This goes dangerously close to the Washington State net, but is sent away, boy, right at the last moment. Now Paro. Well, he stayed with the play long enough. Ochio kind of made it awkward. Now Shandy trying to get onto that as quickly as he can. He'll have a look here from the wing, trying to bait out James. He's got Ochio waiting in mid. Paro backs off, and he may have to turn on this. He does. And keeps the ball deep in the zone. Gonna have James to contend with. Now Paro going after Airy. Didn't get him. But the pressure stays on now from Missouri State. Not letting Washington State run away with this game like Missouri State did game one. You can see, right? Washington State just look like a different team. The way they've been able to move around the field. Demo, shot, James, top left corner. Great execution from Washington State on that play. They didn't even need the demo. They, you're not saving this. Top near side corner. Good luck. Could not place it any better. And Washington State is indeed trying to run away with game two and tie things up. What a response. Talk about a wake up call. That game one was certainly one for Washington State. They've been able to turn things around. No gimmicks here. Just all good play. We need to see a response from MSU though. The offense hasn't been too successful. They've only gotten two shots going here. Still three minutes left in gameplay, so plenty of time for them to turn things around. But you can definitely tell that the team they're facing game one is no longer here with the level of play we're seeing from WSU. 
Missouri State is trying to get Paro involved in the play as well. Got a demolition here from Shandy. Paro doesn't get a shot. Actually does at least get it towards the net. And he keeps this play alive as well. So while he's still sporting mostly zeros across the official stat line, Paro's making his presence felt here. Even on and off the ball. But Ocean goes right over Paro here. Shandy with a stop. Paro will try to start the counterattack. And he's at least gotten by one. Trying to get by two. He does. One man to beat. He's got Ochio in center. What? And Paro ends up scoring off the defender. Paro with the carry. Takes things downfield. Soft touch in front. Wow. Dodge is in the ocean. Ocean not coming from the best angle. Helps redirect that into the net. I mean... Sometimes you got to put in a little bit of extra work for the goals, and that time it paid off for Pero. Ocean oh. after the demolition again, and now he's got a hat trick. Boy, what a quick response. Quick response. Ocean now shooting three for three. And, I mean, this one almost constitutes as a kickoff goal how quickly it ended up happening. Right. Demo comes out, net wide open, and shots good as Washington State brings this back to a three goal game 4-1 they're up looking to keep control and tie up this series remember they went a game apiece to start things off against kansas state last week here on the stream to close things out ended up losing that one 3-1 this goes through from airy looks like a much different team from last week that's for sure especially after they beat lsu earlier tonight in five games shandy Good control coming off the back wall, but Ochio will not be joining him downfield. James bullying him in the net. And then Ocean just stops and watches this one go as after that challenge, he just lost the will to play. Yeah, oh, he might one, have had an issue. That might one have had a little issue. definitely flew by, though. So oh, yeah. uh, no matter what happened, very unfortunate for Washington State. But, game, you know, they still have that two-goal cushion as we do have a minute 30 left in the game. But we'll see if MSU can try to build off that momentum or not. Shandy throws this out to the corner where James is right there. He got around Ochio. He got the ball got around Ochio. James did not. Ocean did not get around Paro. But James off the respawn will throw this netward. Missouri State still very much in this game. Just over a minute to go, down two. Shandy looking for Ochio. Joining him in midfield and said, Ocho's got to play this. Paro started to come up, and he'll have to turn back off the ball and play that awkwardly off the corner, but he can throw it downfield. Lobbing one for Shandy. Ocean intercepts, but Ocho didn't go too far. Somebody's got to follow this up off the backboard, and nobody does. So James gets a relatively easy clear. Seems like they're panicking just a little bit, though, at midfield. You can see they kind of like the breakdown there, too. Now, Seeing how, you know, everything's starting to get a little bit more spaced out for Washington State. Not playing as aggressive here, just trying to keep things calm. But oh, it, MSU and what they've been able to accomplish this game. I mean, Perro stepped up big time, but it still just hasn't been enough. We're approaching the final few seconds of gameplay. And credit, where credit is due, Washington State have just transformed here. They have definitely shaken that game one deficit off. Last chance, but the ball will hit the ground, and WSU will take it, tying up the series in an incredible game two performance. And James didn't camp out on the back wall like he did against Kansas State in game two at the end of things. They had to battle with Missouri State to keep them off the scoreboard at the end, but just as Ochio went off in game one with a hat trick and a couple of assists, the payback from Washington State comes out with Ocean. Hat trick on three shots of his own. It was an interesting back and forth battle for the first couple of minutes. Washington State pulls away. We've got a series on our hands to close things out. This was going to come down to finishing, honestly. Finishing has been one of the biggest things here between both these squads. Washington State, though, having a real easy time doing so and have been, I mean, very effective with that shot placement. We talked about the ability of people. I, I didn't mention Ocean, though, as he's definitely stood out 
getting that hat trick in game two. But things are all equal here on DFH, and James has to make a big save to make sure MSU don't start this one off with a goal. If you tune in on the CCA uh, B stream, you will hear constantly from a man named Squid, open backboard is an open net. And there have been some open backboards that haven't gone punished. Airy will come up here and score for Washington State, and they strike first again. Good set up for James. Challenge goals in favor. Ari with the shot. And like you said, they strike first. Putting things on the board here for WSU going to be big as they can get things back on the right foot. Start turning the series around. Kickoff goal for Ocean. 2-0 with still 420 on the clock. And which way did the last guy turn? I think he turned upfield instead of back towards net. And that's gonna cost him. 40 seconds in, it is 2-0. Washington State threatening to put a game out of reach early again. As James up to the ceiling. All right, get the camera out and never mind, put it away. And one Shandy. Of the, one, one of the things I wanted to talk about was, you know, you, you said it at the end of game two, where, you know, you talked about James and making sure that Washington State don't get too confident as we have seen them, you know, get very confident, play, you know, kind of, I won't say BM, but just, you know, James on the backboard, for example, on the other half. And they end up throwing away series out of that. They have to close things out, maintain this lead and not get too comfortable. Otherwise, we could see MSU turn this one around and put this game in the series on match point. Ocean throwing one over to James, though James wasn't quite ready for Ocean to instead take the ball himself. Little lack of communication means Ocean has to play a little more defense. This will drop right down and Airy gets rid of that with Shandy bearing down on him. Now Paro looking for a second goal, cannot convert. And James will play right over Shandy. Only Ochio to beat, he'll slow things down. Has he slowed it down enough? He certainly has as Paro gets back. And it should be possession to Missouri State. Missouri State, though, not a lot of offensive firepower. Ochio sitting low here. No booze as he plays those toward the wall. It will end up getting away from him at this point. And that's going to be something big as that one rolls out in front. Right now, Washington State are, again, booze starving as they put a shot on top right corner to pick up their third goal. Harry with his second of the night, and it comes off a... Of Little drop pass from Ocean, battling some physical contact, trying to get to that ball, at least get it to a teammate, and he did just barely enough to give his teammate a chance. Boy, Ocean way up past midfield, off the kickoff here, and it may cost him, no, Ochio blocked by James. So Washington State dominates the first half of Another game, but what a play! Oh, Shandy's shot is off the crossbar, oh, and it stayed out! It wouldn't go in. That's got to hurt. It's the other way as well. You thought that one was in stacks, even though there was no follow-up. Eventually, that would have came through. But defense from Washington State says, no, you won't score just yet. Denies that one. Keeps this one a 3-0 game. <laughs> that, again, I'm, that, I'm that's watching my hurt. stocks plummet with every crossbar and every challenge that Washington State wins. Here's Ocean trying to win the challenge along the ground, going air to ground, didn't work out. Now Paro, boost, but not the ball anymore. As James wins that challenge, good touch though for Paro. To get around Ocean, nobody back, and Missouri State's on the board. Sorry, I just need to pay attention to this one. Ari all the way on the other side of the field. So, yeah, you're right. No one back. It's a good look there for Pero. Catch defense out. And it's about as clean as an opportunity as you can get. That's on Washington State not having all their bases covered. Harry trying to center this after he had a big series against LSU earlier. Now Ocean trying to go after Pero. <laughs> He's the guy with the hot hand right now. Ocio. Came out like a house on fire, but since then, Pero's been the guy. 
been trying to keep Missouri State alive in this series. Ochio got this one through, but off the respawn there's Ocean. Now James, a oh, good win by, or at least a good challenge by Paro. To keep that from going netward. More offense perhaps for Missouri State, especially after that miss by Ocean. Ari there to the rescue. Now Paro needs to get this ball centered. Instead, opts to go right towards the back wall. Now this is loose across the face of the goal. Paro coming in, a little delayed, but he just throws it across. Nobody could commit. Ari one challenge away from an open net, and that's gonna do it in game three. And there's a hat trick now, and this is what I said about this Washington State squad. Anyone can just pop off, and we're starting to see that happen. It was Ocean last game, it's Harry this game. Three goals alone out of five shots. And then, of course, Ocean picking up the, the fourth here for WSU. And a, a smooth sailing, as it really did seem like they've been comfortable. Play off the backboard and will be cleared out. But with the final time ticking down, WSU are sending this one a match point. They had a tough game one, but ever since then, they got their act together and they showed the potential of what this squad can do as maybe one more goal in we'll call it garbage time. But I'm impressed, Dax, I'm impressed. Yeah, there's a lot to be impressed with, with uh, how Washington State has played tonight, not just in this on-stream match, but I mean, Ari has been a house all night long. He had at least five goals with, uh, depending on whatever he did in game five against LSU. And now I, he had a hat trick back there. He's got a hat trick here in uh, game three against Missouri State. Well, he is looking impressive as the Cougars look to get their second win of the series and send Missouri State even further down the ladder. It's all about closing things out, and we'll see how that looks. Yep. Loading up the Utopia Coliseum. Again, the confidence is there from Washington State, and certainly is the performance as well, as after they dropped five games, they've scored at least three in the following games. So now it's all about just keeping things through. Now looking at MSU here, obviously they've had they've had to battle back after being shown what they can accomplish with some outstanding performances offensively and then being shut down and not being allowed any more of those chances. And I mean, it's been some heartbreaking ones as well. Ball mostly in the, over the goal line, but it just hasn't been enough. So they really have to dig deep here if they want to have a chance of sending this into a game five. You could sense that 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 one sequence, you just mentioned the ball nearly across the goal line and somehow being cleared away and then end up giving up another goal a little bit later on in that game just had to be deflating for Missouri State. You gotta have a short term memory, especially in a competition that is as long and testing as ZRL is. Shandy's got to have that ball. He does not, but bailed out by Ochio. And that's going to fall right to Shandy. He's got Airy trying to bump him from behind. This is a prime opportunity. Paro, back wall. Nobody else there for it, and it is swept away. Got to be careful here from MSU. Seeing a little bit of double commits there on the offense, and it could lead to a dangerous counterattack from WSU if capitalized. They gotta get things controlled here, start talking to each other if they wanna have some success on the pitch. Shandy is not gonna have this. He has struggled with that ball close to the backboard. James looking for the double and Shandy swipes it away. Good clear. This could be a chance too. All they gotta do is move downfield, but the rush there, Shandy moving too fast. Ochio will end up taking this one back and just trying to get this one through once again, but moving downfield is going to be tough right now. Washington State got all the boosts in the world, and they're going to try to put the pressure on. Paro's got to get up for this. James could not go for the shot because Shandy was bumping him. Kind of spun him out, and Ari kind of landed awkwardly. Now Paro couldn't put it on target. Two defenders waiting. I'm the guy that would have had the save if it had been on target. Missed opportunity for the Bears. We remain scoreless, which is rare in this series. This is by far the longest 
We've gone without either team scoring, and that's it. Shandy opens it up with a great team play downfield with Ochio. And the one 2 one pass play Shandy to Ochio, back to Shandy. You can see Ocean, he got a piece of it, actually, but not enough as he was having a tough time reacting to how quickly those passes were coming out. MSU will strike first, and this is a big goal for them. In their first lead in a while. And a welcome sight. Ochio looking to add to it nearly as it goes off the near post. You don't see many shots miss the near post like that. Almost perfectly placed, but almost isn't quite good enough, as has been proven in this series. Nobody's home, and there he is not what? gonna score! He just couldn't catch up to it. See oh, what James, James has free reign, and Shandy makes the save there. And they were at James's mercy, but now watch the counter the other way. A two goal swing. What? The fact that they were unsuccessful on offense. Oh my, that's a great recovery from Shandy. Ooh. He was backwards on the wall, jumped out, air roll, and dives into it, said, I'm not giving up on the play. They want to send this to a game five stats. You can tell by how they're putting in that extra effort on their strides as. Washington State, if you're not going to score the goals, MSU will. There's some great improv there as they salvage that play. A little lack of communication, though, in midfield. It's going to open the door for the Cougars. James has that ball roll by him, so now he's trying to play keep away from Shandy. Harry looking for Ocean. They connect. That should be Ochio's ball, though he's made a mess of it. James trying to stay with this play himself. That's a good stop by Shandy and company as the whole defense communicated a lot better. Is it going to get him out of the zone? It certainly is. But Perro, oh, he sensed Airy coming up. That's a great, great read there with the play going on behind him. And that ball goes right by Airy and Missouri State are off the hook again. Now, the issue I'm seeing here with Washington State is these, these guys have really solid, at least communication to the point where they have a lot of trust in the team. But the problem is if one person fails to execute, then the entire team breaks down. It's led to a lot of open plays and really given MSU a lot of their goal scoring opportunities. It's been a big hassle too, because like you said, although the team has great pop off potential, if someone is lacking, then it affects the team in a major way like it is now. They haven't been able to score off of at oh. least averaging three goals a game, maybe a chance here in front. Aries too late and Ochio will get credit for the clear. Uh, that's been their best chance. Washington State unable to break up the shutout. They got 30 seconds left. Airy, tough shot. Nothing doing. And Ochi will have this away as Ocean has to come up. Big demolition from Airy to stop Shandy from playing that ball downfield. Arrow didn't keep possession. Airy looking for Shandy. Slowed him down enough, but James could not dump that in on the far side. And that should just about do it. Missouri State weathers the storm, and we head to game five. Wow. This, I just can't believe this is going the distance. Going into right? this game, you would think, okay, Washington State has scored three, four goals a game, has dominated in the past two games. They have all the momentum. They're going to close this out. They failed to score. MSU say, okay, now it's our turn. Solid pass play for one goal. Then you see a break breakdown. Next thing you know, another goal scored. Now, a team that was scoring nonstop has been shut down. And we're now we're going into a game five. It's really going to come down to who can close things out here. No hesitation in terms of joining the lobby. As both of these teams are lining up here. I don't know which way this is going to go, Stacks. Well, there's only one way to find out, so why don't we? Five minutes on Champions Field for Missouri State to get their first dub of the season or Washington State to finish off what will be a brilliant night 10 games deep. Ochio will play this all the way through. Oh, James respawned and Ocean ran right into him. It is open, but Ocean falls from the crossbar to make the save. Great recovery from Washington State as that could have gone sideways real quick. Oh, James, his shot is blocked by Ochio. 
Ocean trying to keep the play alive. He does so, but Shandy does get a piece of that shot offer from James. Good ball downfield from Ochio. That'll relieve a ton of pressure. That pressure, I mean, that that's really going to be the name of the game, too. Just keeping up that pressure, but also pay attention to the whiff. Shandy with one out in midfield. And again, well, a lot of these team plays, especially for WSU, have to do with being able to execute, making good contact on the ball, and having good reads. That's a double commit here, so Oshio should have some time as he is going to be needed there to clear things out here for MSU. A lot of pressure being put on for Washington State, but nothing too scary as of yet as that one goes booming all the way downfield, forcing a double commit save. Ocean with a big clear, at least to the center line. But look at this, quickly coming back, and James can't react as Ochio throws a fastball right by him. And you look away, and you'll miss it. Shandy, great pass out. Ochio with the speed, and James was sitting flat-footed. Nothing he could do about it as MSU strike first here in game five. That really did come out of nowhere. It seemed like... Washington State was very comfortable, starting to get set up. All of a sudden, just a zip right past James. And now Washington State in danger of losing the 2-1 series lead. This goes off the corner, and Shandy intercepted by Airy. Patiently waiting. Now Ochio comes up. Somebody's going to have to take that boost. It is Ochio. That means he can stay around in the play. Looking to find Paro again. Instead, it'll have to be Shandy taking over. Got a demolition. Didn't have anybody to pass to. Look at this pressure here from MSU. They are making Washington State work to get this ball out of their own end. No comfortability in the transition whatsoever. Every challenge is being contested very well for MSU. They haven't been playing it in any poor positions, and it's helped out. For Washington State, control is the name of the game, but hold on, a double commit. This could be a turnaround pass to James. Shot, though, sent straight to Ochio. It's an easy save. Oh, here's Airy looking for a double. No, he could not get that down, and Perro was in the way anyways. Oh, that's giving away to James looking to answer after he gave up the goal, but well saved. Shandy back oh. the other way, trying oh. to slice through the defense, and he does. And look at that. Ari was waiting here, didn't want to commit. Wanted to wait, be the last line of defense, but when Shandy moves through you, are you defending anything? An amazing solo play there. That's going to be the second goal for Missouri State. Clock is ticking on the Cougars now. Two minutes plus, and the ball deep in their own zone yet again. This kicks out laterally for Ari. Going to come out low for him. Somebody's got to charge the net. It is Ocean blocked away by Paro. No follow-up shot, but just off target once again. The shot placement hasn't oh, been there for Washington touch. State. It's going all the way down there, but wait, no follow-up. It's saved from Ari. This game is not out of their hands just yet. It's only a two-goal deficit. They have to get things under control here quickly, though. They want to score and still have time on the clock to see if they can make another play. Harry over to Ocean. Boy, that infield pass, it has been there, and it has been wide open. It's almost criminal that they haven't scored yet. Shandy, again deep into the Washington State zone. James and Harry crisscross a little bit. Harry have to charge in. Now Ochio just trying to play around James, and Ocean can't keep the ball in the zone. He took out Shandy, but nobody's home. Paro's gonna get the last touch. And Missouri State is on the cusp of erasing a 2-1 series deficit. Washington State had all the pressure, but just like this series, they let go for a moment, and Missouri State battled back. A three-goal lead as we approach the final minute of gameplay. Looking to make it four as well. Ocho shot, and that'll do it. That might be the dagger here, Stax. What a turnaround. Ending the series exactly the way it began. Ochio scoring in a blowout for Missouri State. 58 seconds remain. Washington State pretty much on life support at this point and still not getting the ball forward the way they need to. Paro, little pop over James. 
More possession time, more hero ball coming out for the guys in blue. That is just about gonna do it. Wow, you talk about a comeback. I mean, this, this series had everything. Just so many ebbs and flows, ups and downs, and Missouri, Missouri State's peaks were just a little bit better than their valleys. As James will just pinch one downfield, and that's probably out of frustration more than anything, is nothing has worked for Washington State. Absolutely nothing. No, like like you said, <clears throat> we saw the infield pass plays. We saw them, you know, try to get more mechanical. They have the speed. But look at this. They hit the post two times in a row, Son Sackhouse. Like, there's not much. Like, at, at that point, everything, all the pressure, it doesn't matter if the f final shot that comes through doesn't hit. And we saw it hit there for Missouri State. A well-earned win from them in game five. Can't ask for much more than that. A team that continues to battle. I mean, they had a lot to be frustrated about in game three when they had a chance to really make a game out of that. Uh, talking about Missouri State. And ball sits right there on the goal line. I mean... You know, if I'm trying to find literally anything, I guess we just won't. But, I mean, the ball had to be about 90% across the line, right? And it doesn't go across. And then you get scored on a little bit later. The game gets out of hand. And now you're looking at going to 0 and 5 on the season. And they answer back the way they did with us. Back-to-back -back shutouts in games 4 and 5. That is the kind of stuff you like to see. This could be a turning point for Missouri State. Yeah, uh, and you know, I, I really do think it takes losing those other games to, to yep. find that in the team because the first game was really comfortable, but you could tell a lot of it was on Washington's error. So then when they start to fight back, you're thinking, okay, this is the team that we know, and it kind of takes any excuse away coming, uh, or any excuse away for Missouri State in that matchup. So when they start winning here and you really see, like, again, we go into that, that game four and they end up just showing up and seeing, showing us what they can do, and then, oh my goodness, that game five. Like, it, it was just everything was playing into their hands. Uh, I mean, but also credit to Washington State, though, at the same time. They did good, but at the same time, they should have hit their shots. They they had a lot of offensive pressure. It was just a, that final shot was just off target. And this will teach chat never to pick against the school that gave us Brad Pitt's brother, Doug. I don't know. F dot. Welcome back, good sir. Missouri State.